like this, they know we don't miss it. Swish. Man, they don't catch my drift, tell them I ain't they bitch. Don't catch my bitch. Uh-huh. They don't rock like this, don't rap like this, they don't rock like this. They don't catch my drift, tell them I ain't they bitch. Don't catch my bitch. I'm in a couple of my homies, I'm in a couple of my homies. Dog. What up, guys? Are all right, guys. We're headed to Winter Park. We got the ski dock and uh, Coda. It's gonna be a sick day. Let's go. Winter Park, baby. All right guys, so the snowboard I set up this morning is a blank snowboard. It's a hybrid camber snowboard. I've been riding a lot of camber boards, so this thing should be pretty playful. It should be a little different. We've been going to camber snowboards because they're, they're more aggressive. They, they're a little stiffer. They help you land better. So we'll see uh, how this hybrid camber snowboard does today. I'm also excited because Winter Park has like a lot of their main runs open, so, or main parks open. So here we go. Turning pretty good. How do I get to this park? Whoa. Is it not done yet? They got me. I saw all the rolls and stuff, and I thought the park was made. They're making this park. So, this, is just a, this is just a groomer, which is not a bad thing either. It's sick. They got one, two, three, four, four jumps in a row. And yeah, they got a kitty cat making them. I need to open this. Like, come on, drop the roof. bad i can definitely tell that it's it's not a camber board like especially when i'm trying to carve it like camber just grips the snow a little harder this i mean you still carve it it's still ripping um it feels good underfoot though you know I, I don't feel like there's a learning curve with it or i'm like Ugh. so the one thing that's kind of a bummer is i am so dead from ripping the dew tour park if you missed that video you can check it out right here we got to ride the street park at dew tour and we went off we probably did like 30 laps 40 laps my body's just exhausted. So we're out here riding, we're having a good time, but physically I'm missing probably like 20% from the start of the day, which is kind of a bummer, but we're gonna get some tricks today. We're gonna have some fun. Michael and Cody have never been to Winter Park too. So we're kind of, we'll, we'll explore a little bit, show them around the mountain. The park's not like the sickest and we have to be in it type thing. So. It feels like the old day vacations. I love it. Yeah, back's on vacation. <laughs> There's a monster in these trees. It's so loud. It hits it so loud. Ah! Look at it. Ah! 
Christmas crowd is waking up. It's getting busy. Subscribe. good they weren't that scary i like to eye things before just sending it unless i have benson here who will send it for me and then i can just go off to of what he did but the dude was busy today i tried to get him to come out here he didn't want to come out but i'm still stoked around here ripping winter park but you know what i'm more stoked on today sticker shout out we got blakey with the orange evolution sticker on the helmet looking insane man as well as we got derek underscore muka with the evolution sticker on the nose of the snowboard looking insane and now we gotta do a gear shout out because we got tanner dot harrington with the evolution jonathan buckhouse pro model goggles those are linked in the description as well guys thank you for snagging the merch snagging the goggles like literally supporting the dream that's how we travel that's how we go to new resorts that's how we do this for a living guys so if you want an evolution sticker and if you're a skier, we have a ski version of the Evolution stickers, but we have the hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, and the windbreakers now, guys. Tons of merch. We're turning this into our legit snowboard company, which is crazy. Once again, that's how I do it for a living. So guys, thank you to everyone that has snagged the merch. If you do snag the merch, tag me on my Instagram so I can give you guys gear and sticker shout outs. But also that's where all the bonus extra content is. It's, you know, I'm at Winter Park because of there. Michael's always filming super goofy, like uh, stories and tagging me and stuff. So like definitely follow the Instagram for bonus extra. And then the TikTok, uh, cause I feel like that's where, where it's at now is everyone's on TikTok. I don't know what to do on TikTok, but we're at least got a lot of followers. But enough talking. I think we're just kind of chilling. How are we doing guys? Great. Good. I'm uh, I'm smoked. I'm tired. Look at this. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. I was oh like, these, these guys are doing terrible. All right, enough talking. Let's just keep running. <laughs> that looks so good. The winter bar has so much more snow than us. End it. <laughs> the hard part with the Mary Jane side is it's gonna have the snow we want to ride, but it's also gonna have super gnarly laid down trees. Too many logs. We just gotta be careful. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was a rock, but I still wanted to hit it. Oh! We're good. Speed time. I totally forgot that these uh, Winter Park trailers have iPads on them. And uh, what do you think, Cody? I think it's currently 32 degrees. Fancy, Hi. right? You make a TikTok? Uh, yeah, something like that. Look, a little iPad. Let's see what runs are open, all kinds of stuff. Winter Park goes hard. Woohoo! It's so gnarly. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
need it. So the ski dock helps film. He's also he's been able to film for a while now. We got Cody, which is awesome. But the ski dock, he has a mobile tuning rig in Summit County. He'll come to your house, your car, wherever you are, and tune you up. We love the dock. He also goes to Denver every single Tuesday. And one thing I do for as a thank you for filming is I give him a shout out and tell you guys to use the service. Not only because I truly believe in his service, he's like the best waxer out there, and it's super convenient once again coming to your house and everything. So I'm gonna do an Instagram story for the boy, try and get him some uh, some business. Let's go. Book the dock. He'll come to your house, your car, wherever you are on Tuesday in Denver, and tune you up. A lot of rock. Powder rock. Try to find some something. Dum bum bum dun 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 dun. Cat tracks. While we're on this cat track, though, it gives you lots of time to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Do that. Cat track time. Time to ride a slow cat track and do nothing but sing songs with friends. Cat track time. Snowboard time. <laughs> it's winter. Snowboarding all the time. <laughs> Michael's got the best punk rock voice out there. Flat ground time. <laughs> Give me a pull. I don't want it. I don't want. I got you. Strap. I don't got step on right now. So let me tell you about my best friend. He's We're stuck on the flat end once again. <laughs> I feel bad for Cody. <laughs> Bye, Cody. <laughs> it is a bummer we don't have three mics because it kind of kicks one of the persons out throughout the day. Don't worry, we guys have more cat track over here. Cat tracks are great places to ride switch, though. Soaring, flying, tunnel time, tunnel time. I'm ready. Cody is here today. Just Michaelis. Can't smoke Cody. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Looks like we came one day early. They're literally setting in the boxes right now. Who wrote this this morning? Dang it. We literally came back to ride some pal. Ice time. Ice time. <laughs> Hard snow time. Hard snow time. hurt so bad. <laughs> so there's some good and there's some bad to Winter Park. This is the bad part of Winter Park. Getting into this park is just a long old traverse. Cody! So I mentioned it earlier, we rode hard, we gave it all we got yesterday, and we're pretty exhausted, but we still love snowboarding. This is so sick, that's why we came to Winter Park. We didn't want to have a good day hangover, but I'm a little groggy, a little slow moving, need something to kind of like help me get through the day. And that's where Built Bar comes into play. This is an energy bar by Built, and they reached out to me, they're like, yo, you want to try the Built Bar, do some ads? I was like, yeah, dude, because an energy bar on the mountain is the best way to go. Because when you go into the lodge, you're spending 20 to $30 on crappy food, bad hamburgers, not good french fries, everything like that. So an energy bar is really all you need on the mountain to get you through the whole day, kind of pick you up, and not put a brick in your stomach, slowing you down on the mountain. I know whenever I stop in the middle of the day and go get some food, I never want to keep snowboarding after. It kind of like ends my day. The other thing that's nice about the Built Bar is it has low sugar and high protein, so it's good for you. I've been losing tons of weight. I can't even keep my pants up anymore. 
anymore because I've been not eating french fries on the mountain and supplementing with the built bar. This one's peanut butter brownie. I haven't even tried it yet. This was delicious. They have so many awesome flavors, whether you like coconut or mint or peanut butter or brownie. So check out the Built Bar. Use my link. Use my code. Save yourself some money on the Built Bar and also not waste your money on nasty resort food. I have now got to eat this. Oh, that was much better. For a hybrid camber snowboard, this thing is stiff. So one thing I wish I had that bending right mass. The ability to just know the speed of a jump. Hi Michael. <laughs> So the snow here at Winter Park is 20 times better than the snow in Summit County. Like there's actually snow in the trees and like you don't see dirt, like everything's covered in snow. Like we don't have that. It's like the man-made runs and then everything else is a death trap. That being said, Winter Park still doesn't have their parks fully built. They've kind of had the medium one that we've been hitting with the two jump line. They are wrapping up their like uh, beginner uh, park up there right now, which it probably opens tomorrow so if we would have waited one day to come out here that would have been sick but we just were kind of talking about like the best park to lap and right now none of the parks are good for lapping jumps like that two jump line is sick and it's really it takes a second to go from like a jump into another jump and it's nice to get some practice doing that but right now there's there's not an option to do that uh so i don't know we're just kind of talking about talking and comparing like the jumps and which one's got the best i still think eldora has the best park situation right now so maybe wednesday before we take some days off for the holiday you know christmas and stuff like that which i don't this might be posing on christmas i don't even know when it's going to post but uh go back to eldora and just have another park session it's just so fun to just get lap after lap after lap after lap after lap after lap after lap a park i love the park chipmunk chipmunk michael's got work to do i got i got jobs you quit your job dog i am gonna quit my job eventually <laughs> we all will one day <laughs> Chipmunk, switch turn. Ah! <laughs> nice to meet you, man. <laughs> I was like trying to look at the camera and then just like lost it. Sorry, buddies. Oh, I messed up. The only thing I don't like about Winter Park is all the cat tracks from like spot to spot and things to things. And... That's got the jump. Oh, he sent it! So we really wanted to ride the park while I was here because of the platter, but we missed that opportunity. But what a sick day, guys. I hope you enjoyed today. If you did, like, subscribe, 
And as always, Timo thank you so much for shredding with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep it moving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video because it's daily on this channel. Woo, bunny hill.